Recently, on Tuesday the 24th of August I woke up to see this. Yep. I had been banned for 90 days and wiped for boosting on one or more Skyblock profiles. The day following that, I had gathered some evidence to back my case, and I appealed. When I woke up the next day I came to my computer to see this. My IGN is underscore Udon and today, my friend Ghost Choir and I will explain why we believe I was falsely banned. The obvious place to start with is what we think would have flagged the system. We have two main theories that we think possibly could have caused me to be banned. Firstly, over two months ago, I auctioned some light blue dyed leather armor as a meme, and put it in the exotic cafe selling channel. As you can see by the screenshots, this clearly was a joke, so then why did it go for 25 mil? Well, we believe that the person who wanted to buy it thought it was an exotic armor set, so they paid a very high price for it. There is the other possibility that they were dumb and decided to bid on it for fun. But I highly doubt it because the normal player would much rather waste their money on a fun activity like doing dragons or crafting pets. Now if I IRL traded with him slash her, they would most likely be banned and wiped just like me, but as you can see, they were not. If he had been banned for 90 days then how would you explain this? He also has the leather armor still in his wardrobe, with the same hex code and reforge as it says on high auctions meaning he probably keeps it there as a flex. I wouldn't think this is why I was wiped, but it is possible. There is a link to my high auctions in the descriptions, where you can check every single auction that I have ever bought slash sold so you can determine for yourselves if I have done anything wrong. Now. The main theory we have on why I was wiped was that the system thought I was IRL trading due to me selling multiple exotic sets for ridiculous amounts of coins. In the month before I got banned, I had come back to Skyblock after quitting for around 4 months, but only before I decided to invest in exotic armors as I thought that they could only go up in value. And they did. When I came back to Skyblock, I decided to sell all my exotics, to afford a good setup for Dungeons and Enderman Slayer. Firstly, I sold my 3 leaflet sets to Moyas and Makeup Monday, who are in a co-op for 1.3 billion coins. Around a week later, I sold my mint colored lapis set for 250 million coins to Tony405. A day later, I sold a maxed yellow shark set for 210 million to Freak on a Leash. If I was banned for suspicious trading, I am very sure that the admins would not have checked any of my statistics before banning me because I had around 1,300 hours of playtime, last time I checked, with a skill average of 43, Catacombs level 31, and Revenant Horror 9, Tarantula 7, Sven 7, and Enderman Slayer 4. I also had an estimated 2.1 billion coin net worth, including the exotic armor that I had left, being the Ice Wise, Black Unstable, White Monster Hunter, and the Green Tarantula Leggings. The next thing to be discussed is why I wasn't profile boosting. I only have one other Skyblock profile that I have ever played on for over 5 hours, which is a group co-op, and if I was wiped for boosting, this profile would definitely have been wiped. To be brutally honest, I do not recommend putting so much time into this game at all as I did, because, in the blink of an eye, one small error with Hypixel's system can change everything. I am not saying to not play the game at all, as Skyblock is a very fun game and it's especially fun to play with friends. Just know that at any time you could lose all your progress and not be able to do anything about it. It sickens me that 54 days of my life, the equivalent of around 1300 hours, were just deleted and every time I think about it, I feel completely hopeless and defeated. As a Skyblock player, you would have likely seen videos like this or posts on the forums on people complaining about being banned and wiped all the time, and it's naive to think that you are completely safe from being banned and wiped because you have never done anything wrong. After all, things like this can happen to anyone, and that is why I suggest that putting hundreds, or even thousands of hours into this game is not worth it unless you are a very well-known player or YouTuber. Hypixel really needs to up their game in this regard. I understand that it is insanely difficult for staff to manage a Minecraft server with record-breaking amounts of players but it is incredibly unfair to falsely ban players who have dedicated ridiculous amounts of time to this server, and have never done anything wrong. To sum up, I have explained why I think I have been banned and wiped, and why it was false. If you have come to argue that well of course trading exotic armors looks very suspicious, then ask yourself after watching this video. Was I breaking the rules? From the proof I have given, I'm hoping you believe the answer should be a no. I have spent over 20 hours in the last week talking to people on Discord and the forums to try to fix this situation I'm in, and so far it has gotten me nowhere. To anyone who still doesn't believe me, there isn't much I can do to convince you otherwise. In terms of the channel, if I do not get unwiped, I will have to restart and play even more to get to the point where I can make more loot from event videos and other guides. But in the meantime, 
you could possibly be expecting some Mindman content. Thanks, everyone so much for your understanding and support.